Good morning, beautiful souls. It's Michelle, the Sacred Spiritual Healer, with your messages. Hope everyone is doing well and avoiding the panic of this virus. Right? Craziness out there. Today's candle, your stone is lapis lazuli and your uh, color for the candle and chakra is the heart chakra being like the emerald green. So it says focus on unconditional love, unconditional love for yourself. I want to get this put out there because as I started doing all the meditation, getting ready, uh, my stepfather showed up to mow the lawn and said my mom's on the way over, so uh, I need to get this out because I had already began. My spirit really wants this message in the whatever it might be. So if I, if I get interrupted, I'll have to start over. All right. So that being said, Goes true and precise messages, please, to the collective for this day 24 hours. This message is for your career. Thank you. Let's get an overall energy here. Again, what spirit wants you to focus on is unconditional love for yourself, healing yourself, loving yourself, healing your inner child, focusing on you. And also having faith in spirit, having faith in yourself to be strong enough to avoid this drama in society at this time. Avoid social media, the news that's filled with, uh, you know, propaganda and lies, right? Low neg negative. The sheep that want to just fall into the drama. Raise your vibration and be strong. And here, with that, we have the bear cave retreat. <laughs> Funny. Holy water purification. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse your space. All right, so with this energy of the bear in the cave, I get both strength and the brightness of this uh, fire reminds me of our solar plexus surrounded by all this other white purity of the snow and the icicles. Uh, illuminating this uh, space, this fire, is the moon, the full moon energy that we just had, right? Well, the bear in the cave stands for retreat. This bear goes in and it hibernates because it needs to heal, it needs to rest, and then in the spring, which would be about this time, right, it emerges ready, hungry for its new beginning, and that's what, with this, is you've been retreating, you've been healing, you've spent your time in the cave, and you've gained the strength now, you've been healing, right? You've rested the body through the winter months, hopefully. And it's time to uh, just focus on you just before you emerge in April. So the rest of March is focusing on you, healing your inner child, healing your heart. But filling yourself with so much self-love for yourself and the all living creatures. Knowing that we are all connected through energy because there's nothing but energy. We're all energy in the form of it, uh, this avatar here is the human body. Some <laughs> You might even hear some say uh, it's a meat suit, right? Uh, the uh, cave for retreat is not telling you to retreat now, but it represents the time where through this last winter months you've been retreating, you've been doing this healing, and now it's time as the moon illuminates this you can peer out knowing that you're just finishing up, you know, that healing, start wakening slowly, coming back to being grounded, and then you can emerge so that you can shine your light in April. With that shining light, how, look how beautiful this card is. This also reminds you to holy water, to purify yourself, to cleanse yourself, to surrender the negative and the dark energies in, around you, to surrender them, cut ties with them, uh, use cut cords with low vibrational people, person, places, things, 
clean out your home, that whole spring cleaning mode, right? Which is what I'm going to be doing, so excuse the nails. But uh, for the next uh, week, I'm going to be spring cleaning the house. Was going to do yard work. Someone else is doing that. That's awesome, right? How blessed is that? But remain in this rainbow of light, unconditional love. Know your spirit guides and your angels are all around you, helping you. In the water here, purification is not only purifying you, cleansing you, but it's also your emotions. Allow this in the rest of March to purge those feelings as you cleanse the low vibration from your being, from your surrounding. Let's get the current energies, please, sir. What's this 24 hours from now in the 3D realm? What energies do you have for them? Thank you. Five cards. One, two, three, four. One more, please. Thank you. Just a bit. Okay. Really? <laughs> As I always say, you ask for something from spirit and he's oh they're always there to provide more than you ask for. for the collective please spirit recent past one more shuffle okay being afraid making a decision what way are you going to decide and this is the uh, Havya he always reminds me of somebody that causes trouble but here he's bringing you at a crossroads which way it is going to decide the dark or the light and the beautiful maiden uh Caden maiden here is the beautiful little angel this is your inner child maybe they don't want you to see that that needs healing but know that you need to heal your inner child go within and make the changes needed to finish healing that inner child so that when you emerge in April that you emerge with so much love and so much light that people are just going to need glass, sunglasses to see how bright you're shining. Spirit, give us three cards for the recent past. One more. Thank you. Oh, that's two. to go together kind of all right so here in the recent past number six you have the piper is singing the beat or yeah playing this musical instrument so that you can just be um perhaps like dancing to the beat of your own drum to your own tune you are the music around you and people love to hear uh your words that what you speak but also they want to be around your energy. So protect yourself also from those that are energy vampires. But that you are so much in bliss. And this reminds me a lot of that resting and healing mode, right? It's very uh, serene and meditative looking card. Similar to the bear in the cave, right? Hibernating. Allowing that healing to take place in that meditative state. And here we have the fairy who was kissed by the pixie. This is coming out of that music where you played the music and where uh, this fairy was kissed by the pixie. And how delightful that she not only had the faith and the belief in the pixies alone, the fairies, the energies around her, right? That it just lit her up uh, because she was kissed by the pixie but allowing the belief to make it real allowed her to shine her light more and this is you being lit up by the energies around you because you do believe you have the faith in knowing that there are fairies the possibilities of the fairies in this dimension or other dimensions but number 
free is all about your body, mind, and soul going within, meditating, and accepting uh, and realizing that the all time is irrelevant, that it all exists at the same time. Here you are, the Bridget of Mothers. Here she's realizing that, yes, she has the dark side of her, but embracing that, looking into her globe, realizing that she's also the purification of this beautiful cherub, right? So balancing that darkness, accepting the dark in themselves, and balancing it with light. And here with the, oh, that gnome is similar to that. He's uh, recently had maybe some toxicity in his life, but uh, it looks like a man since he has a beard, so I'm saying he could be a she, of course. But uh, realizing with one eye open, taking a look and seeing that this is really him. This is uh, in his bare, uh, vulnerable self, uh, opening one eye to say, that's me and having to transmute it into love and light. So here you have these two cards. And those are your recent past. Okay, in your career, you have this uh, amazing five, six, seven, eight, number eight card where the crow is moving forward, realizing that you've been very blessed with these eight of cups, right? But you're ready for more, you're hungry for more. You're coming out of the cave here with the cave, bear in the cave, you're gonna be coming out Right now you're just at the very edge of that cave, peeking out and looking what else is out there. You're burning, right? The solar plexus of courage, of strength, right? Is your intuition, your powerhouse in that solar plexus is just burning with this little fire going here. And this is you realizing here is the crow in your career sector, that same energy, embracing that same energy, peering at the edge of this cliff, ready to take flight uh, in the spring and to see where you get that other two cups. Because while well, eight of cups was nice, but you know that there's more out there. You know you want that 10 of cups and it's there for the taking. It is your reality, it is your birthright. This here is the devil energy. Don't be, don't be true fooled by the devil energy appearing around you. Perhaps there's someone in your environment that's trying to fool you with some toxicity, devil energy, and it has something to do with the heart space. This here red stone in the lava reminds me of a bleeding heart, someone who's bleeding you or sucking up your heart or sucking the energy from you. It's somehow tied to you, chained to you. You're this, you're this beautiful little hummingbird with a chain in its beak, and you are connected to this, but let go of the chain that ties you or ch keeps you bound to this devil energy. This could be a person, place, or thing. And realize that you are at this top, again, with the top peering over this mountain, this cliff. Same energy is here, same energy as the bear at the cave. You're looking up, looking forward, regardless to who is below you, beaking, you know, all the gossip and chatter uh, of these birds the crow is here, but you're listening to your intuition, listening to spirit guides around you as your fire, uh, your wand here that you're clinging to is glowing with like a red fire energy and you're ready to take flight away from these gossipers, away from this lower vibration around you. And so this is you in your career, ready to soar, ready to take flight and find that other two of cups. which is excellent, right? Number four of swords, again, with the healing, you're resting. And this is the crow bringing in the flowers, the carnations, showing you that it's almost spring and it's time to awaken yourself, awaken your soul, and come out of the slumber that you've rested, you've healed, and it's soon coming in the beginning of April. It's going to be time to awaken and take flight, emerge and cleanse. And realize that you can come in, bring yourself out of the cold with the five of cups. Because you still have a divine cup in your hand. Know that spirit will fill your cup with unconditional love for you, for yourself. As you share that love with the world, your, uh, share your light and your gifts with the world. Here you are coming up as the star card. I apologize for my dogs. Uh, obviously she's barking at the mower. The star card card you're shining and realizing that you can rise above and shine your light even if the towers all fall right you can still shine your light still be the star card still be the light that beams inside of yourself love yourself shine your light heal yourself 
your inner child. Number nine of cups. Again, with the here we had the eight of cups. Now we've got the nine of cups because you are uh, filling your own cup here on the nine of cups. You've got the eight. You were going and looking for the other two cups and you realize you just have to fill your own ninth of cup and spirit will bring you that divine counterpart, your partner for your soul purpose. After you begin your soul purpose, after you take that leap of faith and begin steps towards soul purpose, your mission, what you've came here to do, Spirit will bring you the partner that is there to help you to uh, work together in mission. And here we have the number eight of wands, as though that communication rising up out of the storm clouds uh, here and realizing that the weight of, you know, you've made it through the storm, the rainbow of light is here with this rainbow here and here uh, shining down. This almost looks like Cupid with Cupid's arrow. Just know that even though there's storm clouds all around, this divine communication from spirits going to shine up through the cloud, storm clouds for you and guide you with this rainbow of light. And here we have the King of Swords, cutting things out that no longer serve you, taking flight with the masculine energy here, the hawk, because the hawk is the masculine energy and know that the divine masculine energy and each of us has recently had the depending on what wave i'm being corrected before i finish that sentence depending on the what wave of the awakening you're in for those majority of us on this channel unless you're new to the pro process new to the understanding new to the journey otherwise the death of the masculine energy was uh going through that death and rebirth, which we spoke of a couple of days ago, right? And over the last, man, I want to say a couple months, it seems like it's been since Christmas or December, uh, we've gone through that death and rebuilding of ourselves. And now it's time to, again, with uh, the end of March, we're going to emerge. Uh, but the divine masculine, divine feminine is going to be equal in, in one, right? The yin and the yang, blessing and uh, contemplation complementing each other in energy in the near future before I get clarification spirit gives true and precise messages for the collective please for the clarification near or my bad for the near future thank you as long as we're shuffling and dealing let's get the clarification please clarification spirit for this five cards six cards okay spirit saying let's shuffle it a lot but oh he said leave it okay thank you okay come on spirit wants me to go through the clarifications before we move over there all right so we're gonna go start here with the uh, swords card right we have the Without fingernails, I feel like I don't have half fingers. The four of swords <laughs> is clarified by the king of wands. Uh, understanding again that four of swords was about the healing and awakening, that balancing out of the, here we have a, a 
red and a white uh, carnation bringing balance similar to a black and white right uh, so it's bringing balance of the colors together of the energies and here we have bringing balance with the king of wands the lion and lioness but being in power of the masculine energy is in the throne but with the wand uh, across equal meaning balance uh, right is what spirits drawing us to here balancing out the male and the female of the almost our animal instincts our energies because that's what animal instincts are energy right so the seven of pentacles realizing that you are doing the work you're putting the work in and moving forward and know that regards to this broken heart in the past the three of swords three party situations perhaps that kept you feeling like you were out in the cold because you've lost these other three cups and spirits saying even though you've had heartbreak pull the swords out of your heart the time of resting as she lays here and rest the time of mourning your, your loss time of uh, you know resting time of pain and sorrow self-pity is over spirit saying awaken because temperance is here to bring balance to bless you with a gift of page of pentacles she's a spirit is bringing you a gift so that you can move forward in self-love as you rise above the storm that, that has caused the tower moment after tower moment in your life uh, recently is the knight of cups and this uh, is while it's a knight which is a masculine energy it's a female meaning you're both balanced you, we have the masculine and feminine in us and it's now one energy coming together and here she has her own uh, ace her ace of cup almost right in her hand because she's filled her own cup with self-love and she's moving forward releasing and surrendering all control she has no saddle she has no bridle she's just moving forward and trusting in spirit to guide her where she needs to be and here spirit sent to leave the hermit card in reverse because it's no longer time to go into hermit mode for her saying no the slumber is over awaken from the cave take that leap of faith forward for the other two cups and know that spirit is bringing that cup to you as a gift to allow you to fill your own cup of self-love with more gifts and uh, nutrition or nourishment than you can imagine and it's going to be beautiful uh, but to come out of that hermit mode to know that you've rested long enough and it's time to rise in your power and accept rise from the storm with that divine communication and accept your gifts from spirit the power that's been bestowed upon you as a high priest high priestess doesn't matter male or female it's the energy of the priest or the priestess we see the truth behind the lies the truth behind the deceit right we see past present future we can see and ask to travel to the other worlds the other dimensions the other timelines because time is irrelevant and we have the knowledge of where we're going we know what our soul purpose is we just need to meditate and and focus on that and take that little baby step even forward if you haven't already stepped forward to your soul purpose your mission take a baby step forward and help others in some form of healing and spirit will guide you further on the next step here with the knight of swords being clarified with the again with the four of swords reminding us that the, it's time to awaken the slumber that healing we started with four of swords in the beginning and spirit saying it's time to awaken here his eyes are closed here they're open here he's on his belly or his side here she's on her back ready to take that leap of faith forward being a, a trusting spirit with bare feet and arms crossed swords are hung on the wall with truth because it's upright and allowing the sun to shine on her and bless her coming into that awakenment that you trust spirit to guide you but to rise from the resting rise from the slumber your kundalini is certainly the serpent number 10 is risen has come shooting about your crown chakra and you've probably experienced the beam of light some moment of aha moment uh in recently in the past regarding your kundalini rising this is the serpent energy and for some of you newer to the journey perhaps your kundalini has been awakened and still on that awakening and journey
the lightning bolt is a lightning. It's a gift from spirit. Number three, this is body, mind, and soul, but be ready for the lightning. That lightning bolt that strikes, you don't know when it's going to strike. You don't know where it's going to strike. We get the warning of the thunder, but we never know exactly where that bolt is going to strike. What if it's going to strike and cause devastation, such as a tree falling, hitting someone, or just awakening the ground and with vibration, right? And this is spirit's gift to you. Uh, sending you a lightning bolt of energy, awakening your spirit, awakening you with a gift so that you uh, emerge into the next season, into the next cycle. With the moon card here, number ten, another 10. So we have a 6, a 3, and a 10. A 10, a 3, and a 10. Sorry. With the moon cycles and knowing that that moon cycle, that same energy is within all of us just as the moon uh, starts its phases from the new moon right all the way through to the full moon and it begins again and so do the cycles of the death and the rebirth within us the shedding of old skin uh, uh, old cells within ourselves the, especially upgrading our dna know that it's uh, cycled in a process that doesn't uh can't be hurried all right and spirit's advice for you is the rattle this is the battle cry the rattle that sounds for the battles to another seven a very divine number right holy number but the rattle sounds like music like a warning when they chant for for battle for to move forward and fight for what they believe in in a very beautiful way with the beauty way here is the things in spring that emerge and what a great way to end this reading too is be with before I go into the other cards, of course, but Beauty Way is like the uh, flowers blossoming in spring, the uh, dragonfly awakening and spreading its wings after it's, you know, been awakened from the winter months. It's kind of like also like the butterfly that's gone through the winter in the cocoon and spreads its wings to fly for the first time. And this is you getting ready to fly, you merging from the cave to take that flight. What does spirit want you to work on? Okay, taking four. The love. What did we say with the heart chakra? How beautiful is that? Number one, you. The first one, right? Uno is work on you even in order for you to come in union with another uh, your divine person right you need to first fill your cup with self-love to nurture yourself so that you have enough love not only for yourself but to share with that person and they have to do the same to have enough love to share w with you and i'm going to put that right by the candle in the crystal because how perfect is it that spirit that was the message for this morning during my meditation was to guide you to self-love, to guide you to that unconditional love and understanding and forgiveness of yourself, forgiveness of your person that's out there. Fulfillment of the wishes are coming true to you in April. That Towards the end of March, know that Spirit is going to gift you, to bless you with so much love and happiness. Uh, once you step into your soul purpose, once you step into that mission, take the leap of faith into mission. Don't be tempted by the devil energy. Here we're going back right don't be tempted by the devil energy push it away be the hummingbird but let go of the chain and flutter away from evil from darkness okay i'm gonna set that right there and hear what spirit ending with but love again number six divine love the seeds have already been planted in the universe that remember in other worlds other dimensions other timelines your love your counterpart is there and you just have to call it into you and do the work as you heal yourself, as you love yourself and shine your light. Spirit will bring this divine person into your life. Your ancestors all around you want you to know. That's weird because the lawnmower stopped. <laughs> being drawn to this one as well but let's see because sometimes I get that and then spirits like no and he doesn't give me a message 
Number four is all about balance, right? Protection. You're protected with number four, such as four, four, four. Just as a solid as a rock is strong, you are protected. And it's about your inner power, that inner gift that spirit wants you to shine. Be true to yourself, true self. And realize that you're and reach your potential with that beauty way that's exactly the butterfly can't stay a caterpillar forever it's destined to make that cocoon happen but he has to take the step even though he may not you know be always uh, strong at heart maybe that caterpillar doesn't want wings to fly maybe he's not sure he can handle it right maybe he allows fear to delay it but the caterpillar is destined to grow wings and fly like a butterfly and you are destined for greatness you have so much potential in you to be your true self to have and shine that inner power and spirit wants you to have faith and be the caterpillar and accept the fact that you have wings let them let them shine. Let them show your wings and, and fly. Leadership here. You are a leader for some of you. Yeah, get on uh, Facebook, YouTube. Okay, I just said stay off of social media. But in this sense, <laughs> I'm like contradicting myself, spirit. <laughs> this is about leadership saying you could be a teacher. Say get on YouTube and do your own readings. Spirit will give you the messages. These are not my words to you. They're from spirit. I'm just the deliverer, just the channel that allows spirit to flow through me to you. All right. And you too have the same potential, the same true inner power. So be the leader of and self-discipline yourself. Just self-discipline requires that you stay away from the toxicity and your psychic abilities are going to bloom you're going to probably scare yourself with some visions you get or some knowledge you know. And sometimes we know things that we don't want to know, but know that it's for our own good. And here, the other one was all about the creator. You are a co-creator. You are self able to manifest things into this, um, into this dimension from other dimensions. And your awareness needs to be uh, uh, very much aware of the things around you. Look for the signs and synchronicities around you too. And know that again with the co-creation, you make the change. One. And what's this one? You can make this change happen. Seven so those right there. And what does your spirit guides want to tell you? I have to go check this and see why the I just saw on the bottom of the deck was the walk in beauty, which reminds me of that beautiful way. I'm going to do these cards. One card, please. One card from Great Spirit or from your spirit guides. Being drawn to the one sticking out. Okay, Spirit Keeper of the East. And look at how beautiful the sun is shining over the hill, right? And that is so true. Like the sun always shines. It always rises. Even when we can't see it through the storm clouds, it's there. Just have faith in yourself because you are that light shining. You have the possibility to shine through the storm clouds and to heal others with your light. Wounded healer. Perhaps you're wounded and you feel still heartbroken, but Spirit says, pull the swords out of your heart. The time of self-pity is over. Know that it was for a lesson. And believe me, I'm right there with you. We had all have, in this journey have had difficult times, right? So I don't say that lightly, which I'm not saying this is all spirit is, but <laughs> all right. To summer, falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone, forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. And that's your relationship with you. You can be healed. This is about healing yourself so the other relationship can come in. And really, it's about a partnership, not so much a relationship. So, just want to add that. Spirit does. All right. Oh, cute little bumblebees. And the chariot. Okay, number seven. Success. I was so drawn by the bumblebees because I've seen some bumblebees outside my house. 
I forgot, it's the chariot, forward movement. This is success that comes from dedication and self-discipline. And we've had self-discipline here in a couple cards, leaving toxicity, temptation. It's about self-discipline, celebrating your accomplishments, being in the spotlight. Shine your light. You are the spotlight. You are an amazing, beautiful soul. You were sent here for a reason. You weren't sent here to just work a nine to five job in the matrix, maybe work in the mailroom, work in, you know, wherever. I'm not putting any job career choice down. I'm saying that you were meant to shine and help others. Angel of the universe, you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. The goddess of sacred power, you are being encouraged to take leading role. We had leadership. Being role in your current situation. All right. That is what I have for you, my beautiful souls. Love you. Thank you for holding on and to continuing in your journey. Have a blessed afternoon. Namaste.